think I first realized I wanted to make films in my late teens, maybe around the time I was graduating from high school, when I always liked movies, but when I really started watching them and paying attention to them and, and, and wanted to know how they were made, and probably also because I wanted to be an actor a little bit, but I love to draw and I love to write, and I thought that how could I put the two of those together. At first I made comic books, but that wasn't enough for me. So I thought making a film would be the perfect marriage of those two. My latest film uh, is called The End, or Karen Fox is Not Invisible. Uh, the film is about a breakup between a couple, and it's actually based on a breakup that I had about four years ago. It, it basically depicts uh, a single conversation that takes place on a couch uh, in a single day. And um, it, was, it was inspired by true events in my life. I like it when a film challenges my perceptions of my immediate world or, or the world that I see every day or that I read about or know about in some way. Um, my tangible world, um, well and my intangible world I guess for that matter. I chose to edit the end in the way I did because I was very close to the subject matter and very attached to the script um, which I wrote and it was very personal to me. Hey. And I wanted the film to be, you know, have a serious tone and, 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 and have a lot of substance, uh, both in the characters and in its visual style. What I did basically was the whole film is a conversation between two people on a couch and they are breaking up with each other. It's a young couple like in their late 20s. I'm sorry I ran. And you scared me. The whole, it, it's almost done in real time as far as we're, we're with them for the entire conversation on the couch. And as they're talking to each other during this like very intimate, very like revealing, very sad and, and, and intense conversation, we see suddenly at different moments parts of their lives together, parts of, parts of their history and their past and some, some pivotal moments and some even mundane that, that, that comprise their, their relationship and their love. But instead of regular flashbacks with with audio and, and, and putting you in time and place. The audio from the conversation on the couch never never stops. So we never leave that couch entirely. And there is actually no sound to any of the flashbacks at all. So this is not a technique that has not been done before. It has been done before. But I chose to do it literally throughout my entire film until the very end when the, the man actually runs out of the apartment and, and the woman chases him. So that that was the technique that I chose to do and I think that there is something impactful about that when you when you watch it happen. With the bedroom scene in the end we really wanted to depict the life of a couple uh, living together and over over a, a, a long period of time but do it in a very short uh, segment in the film and so we decided to do it in um, time lapse or sped up motion, in the, which we did all in camera, and we actually fabricated a sunrise and a sunset, and the whole scene is them going to bed, waking up, going to bed, waking up. And if you watch closely, there are different things happening each time they go to bed and each time they wake up that tell you a little bit about them. And even though each one is very specific, all of them are universal. So I think that the viewer can watch it and know that they've also been in that situation. We all want some sort of validation. Um, I, I know for myself and a lot of people do it just for themselves and that is absolutely true and, and works well, but at a certain point it's, it's not just for you, 
all together or 100%. It's also to, it's also for others to touch others. But for me, I think all I want is someone to find some value in it and uh, to create empathy, really, um, is, is all I want. They have the power to, you know, make you run the, the gamut of emotions, right? From happy to heartbreak to fear to you name it, lust, love, uh, you know. Every emotion can be experienced through a film, so I love that. I love the fact that they are like moving pieces of art is really how I see them, and, and a lot of people don't know that. I think don't look at films as art, but when you when you study them and, and read about them, you, you find out that a lot of them really are. Oh. <laughs>